Here is some obsolete computer hardware I purchased recently, or what most people would consider obsolete. I don't think it's obsolete, but that's a different story. So I got a bunch of memory. This is all, uh, this is DDR2 memory. Here's the memory. It's uh, according to the listing, it was supposed to be Samsung memory, but I, I kind of figured that wasn't the case uh, at the time of the purchase. It looks to me like it's just some random Chinese off-brand. It is one gigabyte DDR2 laptop RAM, 667 megahertz. It was only a couple dollars a piece, so I bought a whole bunch of the sticks because I use them. You know, I, I've been getting a lot of machines from the DDR2 era recently, and so I'm going to be needing the memory. I also ordered some DDR1, which I don't think has arrived yet. A lot of the stuff is coming through China Post, so it takes like a month and a half to get here. And then you have to hope after all that that it actually works. So far I have not encountered a situation where the memory didn't work, but I do not put anything past Made in China. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay, this is a solid state hard drive. But this is a an IDE solid state hard drive. This is um, 16 gigabytes, and these are fairly inexpensive. I think these are about 20 or 30 dollars, and I bought a number of these because it's getting to the point now where IDE drives, the old rotational ones, are getting harder to find. I have a bunch of them in stock, and you know, they're used, so I mean they could break tomorrow. You know who knows, but they're getting very difficult to find and so when I discovered that they made they still manufactured these in this form factor I got one and I tried it out and it worked pretty good the speed advantage isn't really there because you're still limited by the ID interface but it does it does run faster than a, an old mechanical drive does and it's still available I don't know if these are going to last as long as the old mechanical drives did I would speculate probably not, but at least I can still get these. I can't really get the old the old mechanic ones anymore. I mean, you can get them used. You get them used on the e rip off and stuff, but you're taking a gamble when you buy stuff used without seeing the hour count and knowing where it was used and so forth. You could buy a used hard drive and it was dropped and it could have had a platter crash and then it's useless. So who knows? Um, but anyway, so there's that. This is the same thing. I'm not going to open that up yet. This one is... This one's a 64, which I got for... Uh, I got this specifically for the Dell Latitude D610 because I want to put Windows XP on... I mean Windows 7 on here. 16 gigabytes is fine for Windows XP, but Windows 7 is not going to fit too good on, on anything much lower than 64, especially if you install a couple of programs. So, that's what I got this one for. This is It's the same model, uh, but it's just different size. Inherently, they come up to one terabyte in size. I can't fathom what in the world you'd be doing with uh, an, a machine of the IDE age that you'd need a terabyte of, ta of data, but I guess you know, I mean, people must buy them, otherwise they wouldn't make them. The drives themselves feel pretty cheap, although, I mean, all these do. They're very lightweight and thin. Um, it's metal on the bottom, plastic on the top, 
I mean, it's uh, the one I, I've been using the other one for a couple weeks now, and it's been fine. So I'll put this one in and see how this works. Of course, it's made in China, you know, the whole nine yards. But that's what I've been buying, and I've been finding that they work pretty well, and they're readily available. So for now, I think that's a good option.